Hello YouTube and welcome to the monthly stats video for June. Um, I think it's been uh, a pretty good month for, on the whole. Uh, it started off really well, not been so great towards the towards the end of the month. Been a lot of sort of grey, cloudy days. Not really grey, but you know, a lot of cloud in the sky. So it's sort of you know been taking the edge off the generation. But um, the beginning of the month was fantastic. So. I think overall we're going to do quite well but uh, without further ado then let's dive into the figures and see what we've got. We generated a total of 1086 kilowatt hours in June uh, so again we've broken the megawatt hour mark which is really nice. Um, our best day was on the 14th of June and on that day we generated uh, 51 and a half kilowatt hours uh, is that the same as your best day uh, let me let me know in the comments we imported just 37 kilowatt hours from the grid in June which is uh, very little uh, but obviously it's still something um, so here is the graph for the 14th our best day and you can see that uh, yeah it was pretty good looks like there was a few a few intermittent clouds late in the afternoon uh, but that was about it otherwise it was a pretty much a blue sky day but you can see how much of the um, uh, output from the shed mounted solar uh, was wasted because the batteries were basically full by well before even midday and uh, after that uh, because it's not a grid tied inverter um, you know it just it just stops pulling power from from the solar panels and so there's all that power that we that we could have generated that we could have used that would have you know improved the the monthly total uh, but there was nowhere to put it so unfortunately you know it just doesn't count but you could imagine that uh, this line would have carried on all the way over here and then down here so we would have got something um, uh, more similar to the red line which is also just over a kilowatt panel so it would have would have been very similar to that one maybe dropping off a little bit sooner but that would have been a significant amount more to the total so I think you know in if if the batteries were flat and we had a really good day like this um, our total could go to maybe 60 kilowatt hours in the day which would be uh, which would be pretty cool Our worst day was on the 5th of June and on that day we generated just uh, 10 and a half kilowatt hours of solar. Here is the graph for the uh, the worst day and um, it's it's not terrible it could have been a lot worse um, but for June I suppose it's not that great but yeah we still peaked at uh, what's that over three kilowatts so let's now look at the pie charts uh, for the month. Uh, this has obviously been um, uh, the month with the longest day in it, so you know it should have the most generation, really. I would expect uh, for the year. But uh, yeah, let's have a look at the pie charts and see what we've got. So the first pie chart is uh, where all the energy that we generated came from, um, and you can see that. Um, the Solax and the Growwatt one kilowatt uh, make up about uh, about eighty percent of all of our incoming power. These are the ones that are on my south-facing roof. It's got a very shallow angle on it, so um, it's almost optimum generation for those panels this time of year. Uh, so yeah, eighty percent or so coming from the roof-mounted panels. About ten percent coming from the wall-mounted panels. That's the Growwatt two kilowatt. And then nearly nine percent coming from the the panels that are on the roof of uh, my shed here, and uh, that's not bad considering it's literally just one kilowatt of panels, just three solar panels up there. 
um, but it's still producing you know close to 10% of uh, of our energy which is which is really good of all the energy we used in the month of June 96% of it was self generated uh, which means that um, only about 4% of it came from the grid so all the power that we generated in the month of June we managed to keep um, well almost 90% of it uh, and we exported uh, about 10% of it um, that's quite a surprising figure to me to be honest because uh, now that we have the Tesla uh, we've got uh, a lot more places to put the spare power, but uh, obviously we're still running out of places to put it. So um, we've obviously had to export uh, some during during the month of June. Um, but um, yeah, normally I like to get that around five percent, but uh, it's ten percent this month. So uh, still got some work to do, really. I think on uh, on on trying to perfect my uh my energy controller monocle to um see if i can see if i can make it improve on that but even still 90 percent self usage that's pretty good going it means that we uh yeah we exported 114 kilowatt hours so looking at where all the power went for the month uh you can see that uh, 28 percent of it went uh into the Tesla and uh, nearly 16% went into the Leaf and uh, almost a quarter of it went just to heating hot water so um, this will be quite an interesting um, comparison if uh, I, I move to a, a heat pump if that's what I do uh, then um, heating the water should should take a lot less energy uh, because the heat pumps way more efficient so it would be interesting to see how much that drops uh, if I do get a heat pump and then the rest went on heating hot water for tea running the dishwasher um, using the various cooking appliances like the air fryer and uh, the steamer and uh, yeah and the usual uh, amount that goes on gaming so now let's take a look at the uh, imported power broken down into uh, half-hour blocks for each of the days in June and you can see that starting from the first yeah, we basically haven't taken any power at all it's been another long month of no grid pull and um, that means that uh, our streak for the month was the entire month so 30 days uh, and that means that our total um, no. off-grid streak is 74 days and counting so let's also have a quick look at uh, the status of my DIY power wall behind me here uh, it's been running perfectly again this month it's really really helped out a lot um, at one point um, we did get down to about 35% I think charge but uh, it's right back up to uh, almost fully charged in fact you can probably hear it's uh, just topping off now but uh, yeah if we have a look we can see that uh, yep yeah, this one is at uh, just over 4 volts per cell which is basically as, as high as I go um, but they're all pretty level there's only a seven millivolt difference between all of them which is fantastic uh, and then the next one this has got an 11 millivolt difference but that's still really really good value uh, and they all are nicely uh, about the same voltage and then this one we just need to do okay so now this one looks like we've got a bit of a problem so um, it is still charging at the moment but we've got a 124 millivolt difference which is a lot really so we can see here that uh, bank zero is uh, quite a bit lower than the others and so is bank two so 
what I might do is check back on that again once the batteries are fully charged because uh, they are still currently charging and uh, obviously as they get near the top the balances will come into effect and try and balance all the cells to the same value uh, but these are um, quite a bit lower than the others so it'd be interesting to see um, in the voltage data whether or not uh, there's a bit of an issue with these two banks and if so I might need to add a couple of extra cells to uh, to bolster them up um, so we'll we'll take a look at that once they finish charging and see uh, just how out of whack they are but um, this this pack is definitely one to keep an eye on so there we go the stats for June June has been a pretty good month uh, broke the megawatt hour mark again um, so that's always a really good sign that uh, you know we, we've had awesome power generation how does that compare with your month did any of you manage to break the megawatt hour um, let me know in the comments below uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what sort of generation you've got and you know where you are in the country um, so the streak continues and uh, hopefully we can keep that going right the way through till the autumn uh, and um, yeah let's see what July brings but that's it for now um, thanks to everyone who's subscribed to the channel I finally hit the magic thousand mark which is fantastic so um, thanks to everyone who who has uh, has subscribed uh, I appreciate it um, please do um, if you're watching these videos for the first time uh, yeah subscribe to my channel and um, yeah like the video it all helps and um, stay tuned because I've got another update video coming shortly about uh, progress towards my goal for the year of getting off fossil fuels completely. Uh, I've made a bit more progress and I have some more things to report so um, that should be coming in um, a week or two hopefully. Uh, so yeah stay tuned for that but in the meantime thanks for watching and I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers. Thank you.